History wasn't just made by kings and presidents and people like that. We found out that the people who picked the cotton and plowed the corn have had a lot to do with it. These are the words of Alan Lomax, an ethnographer who traveled throughout the American South during the 20th century recording blues musicians. My own journey starts at the age of 14 when I started collecting vinyl records. That collection has persisted for 13 years, which is why my room looks like this. I started working as a musician at the age of 13, and over my 10-year career as a musician, I got to travel the world, play, and listen to a lot of great music. So how was it that I came from being a musician and a music fan to being someone who discovered blues recordings from the 1920s to the 1950s as literature? It all started with this man, Sun House. His song, Death Letter, he begins with, I wrote a letter this morning. What do you reckon it said? It said, hurry, hurry, hurry. The gal you love is dead. Sun House and Death Letter presents such a complex view of mourning, I wanted to learn more. And as I started to engage other blues artists, I found that this oral poetry has some universal, poignant, and sometimes very troubling themes. Most popularly being in love, Elmore James sings about this when he says, he loves another woman, and I love you, but you love him, and stick to him like glue. <laughs> Guitar Slim captures the emotions and behaviors of falling out of love. When he says, I'm going to send you back to your mama, darling, and Lord, I'm going back to my family, too. Kokomo Arnold, like many great artists, presents a complex an honest view of sexuality when he sings, woke up this morning, pork grinding business in my hand. Lord, if you can't send me a woman, please send me a sissy man. <laughs> Muddy Waters captures the psychological depth of loneliness when he sings, things look so lonesome on that road up ahead. Been thinking about how you living, boy, and what your mama said. Robert Johnson hints at the repressive and internal root of violence. In a very troubling lyric, he sings, me and the devil walking side by side. I'm going to beat my woman until I get satisfied. And Sun House, now my focus in my research is on spirituality and the blues. And Sun House, a former Baptist preacher, he sings, up in my room, I bowed down to pray. Then the blues came along and drove my spirit away. But along with these universal themes emerged certain themes that are historically and culturally specific that can teach us about American history and African American history in particular. And I'm going to go through some of them. Uh, descendant of slaves, John Lee Hooker hints at the collective memory of slavery while he compares Abraham Lincoln to Jesus, saying that he died for me so that I can live again. Charlie Patton illuminates the tragedy of the racism that he experienced daily when he sings, if you're white, you're all right. If you're brown, stick around. If you're black, get back, get back, get back. Skip James describes the horrors of poverty when he sings, if you think you have money, you better be sure, because these hard times will drive you from door to door. And Bessie Smith refers to the 1927 Mississippi floods when she sings, Ma and Pa got drowned. Mississippi, you to blame. Mississippi River, I can't bear to hear your name. It take a man that had the blues to sing the blues. These are the words of Lead Belly, as recounted by Alan Lomax. So what does that mean for us? What do blues recordings from the 1920s through the 1950s provide us? Well, for one, they allow us to engage with our cultural forebearers. And for two, in a unique and personal way, they allow us to learn about the experiences of African Americans during this time period. But blues is also a very cathartic music. I know I recently lost someone very close to me, and a pack of cigarettes, a bottle of whiskey, and my blues records were essential to my morning process. But if there's one thing that we can learn from blues, it's that history wasn't just made by kings and presidents and people like that. We found out that the people who plow the corn and pick the cotton have had a lot to do with it. Thank you very much.